Douglas Barber. Group Captain Barber, does it surprise you that the dogfight is still possible between modern jet aircraft? No, quite frankly, it doesn't, because I remember 25 years ago when we were fighting in aeroplanes that had a maximum speed of 370 miles an hour as opposed to World War I aeroplanes that dog fought at 100, you know. Everybody said you couldn't have dogfights, and uh, in fact we had many dogfights, and normally one dog fought at about 200 miles an hour, and I suspect these supersonic aeroplanes, which we've just seen, which do 1,400, I think it is, they, they probably dogfight at about 700 miles an hour, so it merely means the circle gets bigger, that's all. doesn't surprise me a bit. Are there any basic differences in technique between the dogfight described by Captain Cameron in that interview and the dogfights of 1940? Well, the thing that struck me very forcefully is the fact that he said, I think, if I'm right, that the optimum range of his missile was one mile. Now, the optimum range of machine guns which he used in 1940 was 200 yards. Now, you can see an aeroplane very well at a mile, but uh, at, at, uh, at a mile in our day, you know, the bullets would not have got anywhere near it. He said that the MiG was at a certain advantage because it was slightly slower. It could turn more tightly. Is this going to be a lasting advantage? Yes, this has always been <clears throat> a fighter advantage, one that could turn inside the other. The Spitfire could turn inside the um, 109, and the thing is like a taxi. If you try and follow a taxi round on its very tight turning circuit in a Rolls Royce, the taxi will be round and behind you before... Uh, you've done more than about one and a half turns. Same thing with an aeroplane. Do you think the days of the, of the dogfighter are really almost over now? Uh, no, I don't. I think as long as you've got manned aeroplanes, you'll have it. And you see, what we saw just now was only a brush. I mean, there were four chaps sort of feeling it out with each other. You get 20 or 30 aside, they'll really get stuck in, I think. Group Captain Bader, thank you very much indeed. Well, that's all from Reporting 66 this week. We'll be back again next week. <laughs>